This is the Beast Mode Developments YouTube channel. So welcome. Welcome. Welcome guys. Something slightly different today. Um, I've travelled all the way up to Banbury in Oxford to Helix Autosport. So today we are going to be sorting out a clutch for the, the Beast Mode Caddy build. What I have done to make sure that we get everything absolutely correct is I have brought my gearbox down that I'll be using. Um, also had my engine with me for some other some other reasons. Maybe you'll find out, maybe you won't. Um, but we just wanted to double, triple check that we had everything spot on for this build. So uh, one of the guys, Rob from the production team, he is going to take me through and give me a little tour of the of the workshop. Buy all the sheet steel in. So that's why everything's a little bit more expensive because we buy it in and then send it straight. We heat treat it, press it out and then send it out to um, all the customers pretty much. So all the stuff that you see out here, we've probably made yep. and then we've then had it heat treated and then sent back in. Okay. And then what they get lads use it for different components for making the drive plates, all the different material for the discs for the drive plates. It's got a little dispatch area here. So we have like a basic hub shape that we use. And then they get drilled and broached and reamed out. And then they get the pot spline put on them for it, whichever car there is. So you've got Audi, Volkswagen, everything, yep. everything that you can think of, Ferraris, Lambos, anything. Any, like, anything gets a helix yeah anything <laughs> well, not even if it's helix uh, there's a company at the moment sending us they buy a drive plate from china and want a different spline so they're sending us the splines we're re-broaching it and then sending them back to okay them. so we can do all of that sort of stuff that's the old mini there that's the old mini he's massive that is yeah that is a, it is a big one so this has been to our laser cutting company this is like the segments for the material and then that will all get pressed out here and then it goes back up for heat treatment for then the lads to use for assembly. This is a little drive plate area section, so I'll show you again. So that little hub I showed you, so they put the pro teeth profile on there. Yep. That's spline 40. And then they get put together. These are the main ones we send. They're all Audis there. Three three one sevens there. And then you can see he's assembling one now. So we put all the teeth on this, we've made these, they've been heat treated and then we put the spline on it. You can see here, yep. the spline gets put on it and everything. That's a Ferrari one there. And then you can see where we used to get stuff made out of house, where it was, that's Casted Alley. And now we're all making it in-house, uh, Alley Billet, so it's all stronger. Wicked. Everything could be quality controlled then, because these used to have air pockets in them from when they were casted. Yeah. And now we're making them ourselves. So solid, no air pockets. Not, yeah, no air pockets, stronger. solid, yeah. So you've got 184, 200 and 215 mil. And then you've got the pull clutches at the bottom. These are like Subarus and Mitsubishis. And then you've got Ferraris. And then again, look, we do we do some certain stuff. People where they go, can you put our logo on it and stuff? So we put Ooh, other people's logo on it. Yeah. So if you if you do do loads of stuff, we yeah. can put your logo on it. If you want beast mode development on it, we can do all that sort of different things. Yep. It's, there's a lot of stuff that we do do. Um, again, we've made all these springs ourselves. Yep. So everything has been made in house. We've, we've pushed it to angle. We've heat treated it, and then it goes back out straight there. So you got Porsches. And then there are the other springs for other jobs. We've got all our core here. It looks like we're using other people's bits, but what we do, we just use this steel shell. Yeah. So it's just to save money. So yeah. you don't want to be making stuff like this. This is for older cars where you're yeah. making it out of alley and then they're going, why am I paying 400 quid for a car that's yeah. from 1950s? So we make sure we can try and save as much money by we use them as donor parts, use the old shells, yeah. and then put all our own components in it, our own springs, our own straps, everything like that. Yeah. Um, so, and then this, you've got a little assembly area here, so you've got our test rigs where the covers get tested on. On this, it'll tell you how much it's lifting by, everything like that, how much travels on the clutch, everything, and then you've got a crank loader for all the, how much torque the clutch can take and stuff, so. Okay. There's a lot of stuff we do doing, everything is, is all assembled by hand, so. Lambo cover shell there made out of alley. 
It's a little bit scratched up and that, but it's Lambo. And here's what I see, is it Courtage, is it? I'm rubbish with Lambo. No, <laughs> it's the same engine as the Audi R8. So it's okay. the same clutch as the Audi R8 that goes in that. So yeah. that's what they used to look like, that there. And then that's our version of it. Obviously, yeah. we'll clean it up when it goes out and stuff, but we made our own spring, everything for it, our own drive plates, everything. We've made all of this in-house. The only thing that we've bought is this facing material because LUK are the only ones that make it. Yes. And then we drill it ourselves, everything. So that's been made here, that's been made here, and it's all been assembled here. Good stuff. And you got this uh, BMW race clutch here. E46 BMW. And the bearing to go with it because you've got to have a race bearing with a curved face instead of a flat face bearing. There's all the road cars will have a curved spring and then when you convert it to race cover you need a curved bearing instead of a curved spring so there's a lot of stuff we do do so yeah it's quite most of the time it's all older cars and people need new conversions for it like yeah. old bentleys and stuff we did a thing for uh, i can't it's like austin helian over in uh vista it's um used for they make a beer lorry out of it but it's used for drag strip as well so it does <laughs> they need a load of torque for pulling uh, i think eight kegs of beer and then when the beer's out it'd be able to do wheel spins with the kegs oh. out so different yeah so again you, yeah let's see you can see where we've put the teeth on these and then they're going away for hardening yep so then they'll get a nice hardening so the teeth don't wear when the clutch is in the car yep. and then they all get milled out so that's again where we're making it all in-house we're trying to save money yeah good stuff so yeah, that's the that's the end of the little tour, guys. Um, happy to say that we are now working with Helix Autosport, and they're going to be supporting us with the Beast Mode Caddy build. Keep your eyes peeled. We're going to be showing you some more stuff in the near future, and we'll catch you on the on the other side.